Good day everyone. So first topic I want to start with. Um, most people have a lot of concerns about brown birds. Fresh birds in other, in other words, wild birds, however you want to call it. Um, first of all, when you're looking for brown birds, find a proper supplier. Um, whether it be a pet shop or people who personally have birds on your outside that's selling at reasonable prices. Um, when you go to purchase birds, what you're looking for first of all is a healthy stock of birds. Birds must always be healthy. And by healthy, I mean in movement, the eyes open, breeding is right, feather quality condition, and most of all, most important, the stool that the bird is dropping to the floor of the cages that I'm not you're going to see. Um, all this is what I just look for when I'm going to buy young birds. Right? Um, now, we all know young birds has come throughout the whole year. It have certain times of the year you buy young birds, certain times you don't. This is where listening to other men on the outside comes in handy. You will know when birds come in with sickness or with diseases or whatever it is. Um, furthermore, no matter how good a bird looks in a volley or how good a bird looks out of a set of birds, once it have a few birds that are infected in a batch, chances are 90% are um, that particular bird will also be infected too preferably with a bacterial infection or a respiratory infection due to transporting overcrowding sometimes after say like that sorry um right um why i say buy from reputable people is because some men just take pride in what it is do in a sense when they get birds, they treat the birds, they bring back the birds up to, up to par. So you wouldn't really have a problem with the bird later on. It's only when the bird reaches a certain point after purchasing, it will get weaker. Some of the birds will remain good as usual. Some of you might buy birds one day, two, three days after you see them puff up. That's because they're just weak. You just have to know how to properly treat a young bird. Now, with that being said, in treating a young bird, um some people just try to replace the electrolytes that the bird and them lose during their ordeal um mostly by buying simple things like glucose sugar um or g or some men mix gatorade with water dilute it and with water they get the birds and them extra extra boost and that they need to catch back themselves um so that is basically it that is basically my view on purchasing brown birds number one get a reputable um supplier number two know how you're choosing your birds don't choose birds because they're less looking good for five ten minutes take your time remain 20 minutes half an hour maybe an hour if you must to make sure that the bird you're buying is properly healthy and the movements up to standard and remember annexing to when you purchase birds on the outside once purchased all sales are final so you're not really and really and truly you're not supposed to be carrying back no birds to exchange because birds not well whatever it is that is how it is outside it's that is just how it is um someone was asking me yesterday to say what you just look for in knowing how we just know a male from a female bullfinch whether it was a brown bird um, certain birds certain birds you can tell them apart but this has take years of experience to recognize a male bird from a female bird most men quicker choose spot birds um, or brown birds with a little stamp in the wing so that is what most unexperienced men does quicker gravity to other than taking a chance with buying brown birds fresh from a volley now from my experience um, I properly know well now what to look for what I'm looking for 
male birds. But that is something only I as an individual could tell from a personal standing point. You cannot, there's no 100% way to determine a male from a female bullfinch unless you have proper experience. There is no guarantee even if you take out a bird looking to be a male, it will turn out to be a male. Once the bird make a molt, come back out wrong, you still have a chance because most of the birds and them, how me and some fellas just check it, the, the cycle from wrong to spot just take a period of between five to seven months, depending on how advanced the bird is. So after the seven months, when you reach nine months, maybe you might be able to see a spot on the bird or not or something so some fellas like to keep birds longer i don't know why but i just wasting time right um that is my personal opinion that is how i just take care of birds that is how i just mind birds i don't keep birds that long if they're not turning out by the time period nine months maximum that means it's a female all right so that is basically there for choosing wrong birds fellas. Um, I hope this video helps out. Everyone remember subscribe to my page for more information. Comment below of this video any topics you all want to have discussed. Any information you all need. Feel free to ask. I will do be doing videos every week. So please comment below on what you all need to know. And I'll be more than happy to inform you all how to properly handle bullfinch, pick birds, train birds etc. Alright, take care everyone. Peace out. Nari boy out.